Object ID best is like a seed that's growing. Um, I'm gonna give you my best. You know, it's a, it's a unification of machine and natural use of alphabetic technology or language of today. Um, and it's all based in uh, Alan Kay, uh, Matt uh, from Ruby, and me applying it to nature for 10 years, you know, searching for a way to solve the adult child logic dichotomy. But you can apply Object ID Best on all language of today, and it will decode it so that you can you can see, okay, this guy is, pre, you know, conducted by mankind time lingo, and this, this guy is, you know, trustworthy. You know, one's brainwashed and one isn't. And you can tell with Object ID best because it's natural and machine use of, of language. And so here we go. As I know it, I don't know it that well. I mean, it's, I, I've been discovering it as I go. Object ID best. So dog catches ball. Okay? So behavior catches the ball. All right? Now we identify a dog, you know, they can catch through identity. You know, that I've identified the dog, all right? And here, dogs, you know, oh, inheritance. Okay, dogs come from mommy dogs, but, you know, dogs, all dogs come from wolves and foxes, and, you know, you drive that strict inheritance that doesn't ever lie. You know, it's like, if if we obeyed strict inheritance in our in our lives, then we wouldn't be living from 2014 and like we were, like we gave birth to our mommy. All right, we would be conducting 2014, and that's what object I uh, best. But let me let me go on before I get off track. It's very emotional. Okay, behavior. So we've captured it. You know, objects. You know, like this dog. He could have missed the ball. He could have done it. All kinds of things. When you think with objects again, whew, your brain grows, and you just like see so much. You see all the solutions of the day's world. It's kind of scary at first, actually. But then when you get comfortable feeling again and trusting your feelings, you know that you encapsulate your behavior. Encapsulate. You become a cell mirroring every cell of your body. Okay, and so this behavior is encapsulated in the catching of the ball, which a ball, you know, has a very polymorphic state. It could be bouncing all over the place. And so this is like objects. And so in computer programming, let me give you an overview of the same thing and from a computer lens. We identify the inheritance of the code that we're going to write. Where is it going to be when the when the uh, compiler goes through? Hoop. Uh, okay, right here. This is, you know, you got to keep the inheritance so that you you gain the the um, specialties of the um, of the code above. And so, just like I gain, you know, specialties from my dad, you know, that I from the from the code above. All right, and that's what I inherited about. And behavior means we're encapsulating the behavior of our code so that it is all by itself and it's self-contained, like any cell of our body. And you can read back. Alan Kay has said all of this stuff before, but I've I've taken the time. He applied it to machine use of. of of, de, of, of alphabetic technology, I've applied it to nature. So here we go. And now polymorphism. This is like if we have a cancerous cell, it's not polymorphic. Um, and so the same with when we write code. And, and we want our code so that when, the, when it comes through and reads it, that it, it doesn't affect the whole. Because the behavior of each equals the state of all. And you can apply that all the way across the board on human and machine. The behavior of each uh, code, you know, uh, um, is equal to the state of all. Okay, so this is object ID best. And so we're, we're, you know, the actions of objects are, they're always changing and it's growing and we're growing again. That's what G-Time gives us two classes a time because we only think with objects and the language is just notation. All right, it's just like music went through the same thing. That's where that red line came from. And some of the and some of the laws you see, liter literacy object drawing, that red line came from when we drew that line and music became, you know, uh, like like math above human language. Well, we're taking regular alphabetic technology above, you know, the uh, of, of language. And so I mean, so that I mean, so that we live above language, okay, and that we think with objects. And so there's that. Let me tell you more. Let me just give it to you in a real historical way. <laughs> Human evolution. The first multi-cell life was the first internet. 
okay? And it's happening again in our species, all right? The internet is a repeat of this history, all right? Now, the alphabetic technology, if you look back on your, these first cells, it must have took billions of years or millions of years before single cell realized more freedom as multi-cell. But we're gonna do it fast because, you know, alphabetic technology is our communication. And using object ID best, we could separate language by time and, and we could class the ones who are dark age slaves of technology and we can class the ones who are tech age natives, all right, of Earth that are above technology, that conduct technology while we're alive. No species ever had two biologies. And so we, you know, by using object ID best, you could decode everything that's out there if you just apply machine programming for you coders out there to human language. And you, you know, because we've got a moving life CPU. All right, our cells are binary. All right, we send messages. It's no different than, a, than the internal memory of a computer sending it to external memory. It's the same thing. Object ID best. All right, I love you guys and have a great day. Bye bye.